Good morning. Uh, we're in our headquarters at the South Carolina Ports Authority in Mount Pleasant, and we're starting a video series to celebrate the opening of the new Hugh Leatherman Container Terminal in North Charleston. The best description I've heard of that terminal was by our engineer, Butch Weber. He said it's really like a city, and I think that really captures the magnitude of the project. If you're a South Carolinian, you should be very proud of the port. Uh, you're an owner of the port. We've had a great run over the last 10 years. We've doubled our container volume with the growth of advanced manufacturing. We spent a lot of time preparing ourselves for the future, and the Leatherman Terminal is just one example of that. We really focus on four things in the port. Uh, one is to make sure that our port works very well. I think by any objective standard, our port is world class in terms of performance. We build timely infrastructure. We'll talk a lot more about that in the context of the Leatherman Terminal. We grow our cargo base. I think we've been very successful in, in growing our cargo base, starting with advanced manufacturing and now tacking into retail and export transloading business. And then we focus very much on growing rail. So that's an important four steps that we take to grow our port, and I think we're on track on, on all of those today. Uh, we, in terms of infrastructure, we have invested $2 billion in the last six years uh, to improve our existing terminals and to build a new terminal at, at Leatherman. Uh, the port is also deepening the harbor to 52 feet. Uh, that's been funded by the federal government and the state government. It's on track to be realized at the middle of 2022. Um, when we talk about the Leatherman Terminal, I think it's important to realize that it's taken a long time to realize this terminal. We actually started planning it in 2001. We filed a permit in 2003. We received that permit in 2007. And we'll open phase one of the terminal in March of 2021. So it's a new terminal in one sense, but it's really a terminal that's long been on our radar screen here at the port. Uh, to give you an idea of the magnitude of that terminal, uh, when built in three phases, it will have 2.4 million TUs of capacity, which is about the same capacity as the Wando terminal today. So it's a significant enhancement in our capacity. When it's finished, if it stood alone, it would be the ninth largest container terminal in the United States in, in terms of, of how much business it could handle. So it's a significant undertaking. Uh, 300 acres, uh, we had to reclaim 65 acres from the water, uh, to, from the Cooper River, to make it big enough uh, to be viable. And it's a very expensive terminal. It, it will be about $1.7 billion in investment, plus a dedicated port access road of about $300 million. Uh, it has a lot of importance for us. We're an infrastructure business to be able to attract business to South Carolina, to create great new jobs, which is what the port does. Uh, we need new infrastructure. So this terminal uh, will enable us to grow. It will enable us to attract more business to South Carolina, to, to create good jobs for the waterfront community and for the state of South Carolina. Uh, one thing that's unique about the terminal, it will have the biggest cranes on the East Coast of the United States, 169 feet of lift height. It will be the only terminal in the Southeast that can handle 18,000 TU ships when it opens, and we certainly plan to have some of those ships here in the southeast by that time, um, and it will have the most modern RTGs in terms of 25 <clears throat> hybrid RTGs, which will be delivered this year. So it's a very exciting time for the port, something I think that we can all be very proud of. In this video series, you'll have a chance to hear from many of the stakeholders in the port, certainly our engineers who have worked very hard to design and build this terminal, the contractors, uh, key legislators who have been you know, instrumental in, in, in giving us inspiration to build this project, um, customers, and, and container shipping lines as well. So uh, I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more proud of this team, uh, what we've accomplished in the last 10 years. I think our future is very, very bright uh, because we're able to build infrastructure on a timely basis and the people of the port make it work really well. Tomorrow is here.